Welcome to Canada Travels, Texas. Guess what? It's now August of 2018 here in Central Texas. Hey, Max. There's Max. We are on the campus at the University of Texas in Austin. Uh, we got to go to the rec center. And uh, hey, look, another uh, scooter. These uh, no Northern Californian scooters are here, you see? the guy right there yeah there's a ton of them here anyway about 20 years ago we had a bunch of uh, people from Northern California settle Austin and so Austin has a lot of uh, elements of right Northern California yes hey here's another scooter bro <laughs> go ahead go ahead so Allison went to college at uh, Santa Cruz which is Northern California right yeah, for a little bit. Yeah, for a little bit. So, there's a lot of that kind of a culture here. But uh, today, for the family at the ATX ITAC and Canada Travels Texas, I have a quick little tactical tip. I have no idea where we're going to go. We're going to head over to the uh, rec center, the recreational sports center, which is where Allison and I have annual membership there. It says here, God is love. God is love. Can you see that? Wonder if that'll film. Whew. Okay, yep. God is love. Love is waiting. Love is patience. That is the, the bedrock of spiritual maturity. Is the ability to wait. It's the ability to wait and not actually uh, want and demand your own way right away, right? That's called discipline and that's power. Anyway. So today's tactical tip is called the Yip Man Chi Sao Tactic. Allison, we did that yesterday, right? I demonstrated it to you. Yes. Okay, so for those who don't know, Yip Man, great late Grandmaster Yip Man, is the most well-known and most influential Wing Chun Gong Fu instructor in the world. He is my great Grandmaster. My, my uh, Wing Chun Grandmaster, my teacher, his name is Richard Guerra. Richard Guerra was trained by Yip Ching uh, and Dr. Long Ting primarily. And Dr. Long Ting and Yip Ching, which is the son of Yip Man, were trained by Yip Man. So anyway, one of the things is Chi Sao, it's called the clinging arm exercise. So you can show a little bit right here. We do one armed like this. So your arms are clinging, right? That's just the one arm version. Now, I'm filming with the other hand, so you stick with your hands, and then the game is you try to tag or hit each other, okay? And you want to deflect and keep yourself from being hit. Now, all the different masters, where it's Bruce, oh, by the way, Bruce Lee is Yip Man's student. Most people know that. That's how, another reason he's so well known. But most masters, whether it's Bruce Lee or his famous student Wong Shang Leung or, or William Chun, Grandmaster William Chun, um, the way they do Chi Sao is they're always going to teach their students or uh, pr pr play with their, their, their fellow Wing Chun players by hitting them. Right, Allison? Yeah, so what does Yip Man do? Yip Man is known when he taught his students. Did he ever hit them? No. No. Okay, so what I have done is when I do Chi Sao with my students, fellow Wing Chun people, is I do not, I do it like Yip Man. Now, with Yip Man, anyone who's done Chi Sao with him will tell you that he has a um, kind of a cold feeling to his arm. So, Allison, when I do Chi Sao with you, is it true that it feels kind of cold? Yeah, like kind of a cold, like, steel pipe. Right, like a cold steel pipe. So, I've decided to do Chi Sao like the late great grandmaster Yip Man. Another thing is, when I do it like Yip Man, do I ever hit you? No. What I do is I, I stay neutral. Then if there's any kind of energy or aggression toward my arms, what happens is that I end up just using that energy and I, I do a joint lock, right Allison? I do a joint lock? Yeah, or if I'm going forward, you just let me. Right, I let her go forward. So I let the individual make a fool out of themselves. If there's any aggression, so that's a Yip Man 
Chi Sao tactic of ATX ITAC for all the family at www.facebook.com forward slash ATX internal tactical arts. Okay? So basically, wow, here he is again. <laughs> Good job, bro. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's the cool thing about this tactic. And one thing about Chi Sao is I, I don't hear it often said, but Chi Sao is actually kind of a version of Tai Chi push hands. Tai Chi is older than, than Wing Chun. So Tai Chi and Wing Chun are very, very good together. And with ATX ITAC, we have a base of Kempo Karate and Taekwondo. So anyway, so we're now at the Rec Sports Center, Recreational Sports Center. So I'm, we gotta go in and hopefully we'll be able to pay for our thing here. Oh yeah, I gotta get $20 out of the University Federal Credit Union. University Federal Credit Union. This is called Gregory Gym. I've been going here for a long time. All right. Okay, we just got done paying for our, our annual thing for Rex Sports and I got the green tea matcha. Do you ladies want to be on the web series? What is the web series? Candid Travels Texas, it won World Fest. Sure. Hey ladies, these Hello. wonderful Hi. ladies here, Longhorn, right? Longhorn yes. Serve me the green tea matcha. All right, we're waiting for it. Yeah. Just finished the matcha green tea and guess what? It's actually, I asked them with, with no sugar, no agave. And there was like a sweetness to the matcha, so it was pretty good. So this is one of my favorite fountains here. I've shown it before, but today is a nice day. It's a little field fountain. One day I'm gonna get close. So you see there's, these horses actually have mermaid tails. And you've got this woman who's like an angel type character. And warriors, warriors. And right here is the tower. It's the only, uh, we're across the street, you see. Back to God is love. But this is the only tower that I know of in North America that says, you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Okay? John 8, from uh, John chapter 8, Christ's words. All right, Point let's south. get started. I don't know if you see behind me, there's a Regal Cinemas 22. We're down uh, in South Texas right now, near sunset time, uh, and it's uh, near Sugarland again. So uh, we're probably gonna go eat at an Italian restaurant, Carabas. but thanks for joining us at Candid Travels Texas for this short little uh, episode on the Ip Man Chi Sao tactic, which is basically doing Chi Sao, flowing cold energy through your arms, like your arms are steel pipes, and you don't attack, so when the partner pushes inward, you, you either do a joint lock or you just place them in an awkward position. You let them do whatever they want. And like I said, it's very, very similar to push hands. The Grandmaster Richard Clear, uh, Grandmaster Ma's push hand, not the push hand that you normally see people do in Tai Chi. So that's Grandmaster Richard Clear. Thank you for sharing that with the rest of the world. And uh, yeah, so that's that. And uh, we got to see the uh, place <laughs> at the Rec Sports Center. I got the matcha green tea. And you saw some people uh, in Austin on the campus uh, riding around on those scooters, very similar to the ones that we had in, uh, uh, when I was in uh, Northern California. So look, here it is. There's the sun setting behind us. So this is what it looks like in front of us. We're on Harlem Road. Look, Harlem Road. We have a Harlem Road here. All right. Thanks again. Adios. <laughs> so thanks again for joining us at Canada Travels Texas for the Great Grandmaster Ip Man Chi Sao Tactic episode and our little visit at the University of Texas Recreation Sports Center and the Shake Shack, Shake Shack in there. Anyway, so another tip if you're interested is if you can find this documentary from about 10 years ago, it's called Water. 
Uh, there's various countries that were involved with it, including Japan, the U.S., China, Russia. It's a bunch of scientists on water, the great mystery. And Dr. Masaru Imoto, which I actually met in 2008, and he signed this DVD for me, uh, is one of the prime researchers in this uh, DVD. So the reason I mention this is because you definitely want to watch this if you get a chance and you can have a deeper understanding of why Great Grandmaster Ipman's Chi Sao is the way it is where it feels like two cold pipes that tactic and he never hits he never strikes anybody who is his opponent or his partner but if they try to put any aggression toward him they end up in an awkward position which reveals most of Wing Chun's purpose is in joint locking uh, type of a scenario um, and body mechanics manipulation. It's not just a kicking and punching uh, system of tactical combat. Okay? All right. Thank you again for joining me in. Like I said, this is autographed by Professor Emoto, and he and I talked a little bit about quantum mechanics. All right. All right. Adios, amigo. Ooh, water. We're all water. Be like water.